The Peel Yalgarup Ramsar wetland is the most important area for water birds in southwest Australia. Every year this system supports more than 20,000 water birds. It also hosts 1% of the world's population of 14 water bird species, including migratory and resident shorebirds. Red-capped plovers are one of the birds that make up that 14. The red-capped plover, Geradrius rufocapillus, is found throughout the Peel Yalgarup Ramsar wetland. They feed along the shorelines of Peel Harvey Estuary, the inland salt lakes of Lake Clifton and Lake Preston. They can also be found along the coastal shoreline. The red-capped plover is the smallest species of plover and weighs only 35 grams. The little bird stands 15 centimeters tall. They are mainly sandy in color with the exception of the male who during breeding time, sports a bright red cap. Like other shorebirds, they have adapted to be able to walk in the mud while they feed. The feet are not webbed, instead they have elongated toes. Red-capped plovers feed according to the tides. Low tide is the optimal time, as the mudflat is well exposed. They have a short bill that is specialized for feeding in the mud and for picking prey off from the surface. Their diet consists of a variety of macroinvertebrates such as small crabs, clams, snails and worms. When a red-capped plover meets a mate they generally pair for life. The female will lay one or two eggs. Her nest consisting of a shallow hollow in the sand that her and her mate will line with sticks, shells and small rocks. The female and the male take turns in minding the nest, and keeping the eggs warm and safe. The female minds the nest during the day and the male during night time. The darkness conceals his red cap, thus reducing the risk of attracting the unwanted attention of predators. After 30 days the fluffy brown and white speckled chicks hatch. Instantly they pop up on their long thin legs. For five weeks, these little birds are unable to fly. They rely on their fast long legs for feeding and evading predators. Because of their running ability, these chicks are affectionately known as runners. The parents still keep a keen eye out for their young sticking close by, escorting them to feeding areas, keeping them both warm and protected from the summer's heat, and most of all, protecting them from predators. Red-capped plovers are beautiful, but also vulnerable. Their breeding season coincides with the busiest time at the local waterways. Recreational use of the wetlands and coastline is at its peak. There are simple things we can all do to protect the red-capped plover. Keep to paths and adhere to signs. Don't drive your vehicle through the dune system and wetlands, this destroys fragile feeding and nesting areas. When walking, walk near the water's edge and keep your distance from the birds. Giving them space will help keep their nests safe. Keep your dog on a lead at all times to avoid them scaring and damaging nesting birds. Litter pollutes our waterways and these little birds can mistake litter for food. When visiting natural spaces, ensure you dispose of rubbish or take it with you. If you spot litter when out at the wetland, be a champion for our waterways and pick it up. There are many local environmental groups that need volunteers. 
why not connect with some of these great groups and get directly involved in the care and protection of the local wetlands? Through taking simple actions we can all do our part to protect these little birds. Together we can conserve our wetland habitat and keep it a place for future generations.